Oh dear God, what have you done? Season 2, episode 6 of House of Dragons. I know no one is watching it, but let me admit, I, I was kind of into it. Season 1, at least, was... Yeah, it was super wokey already. You had the 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 was the Targaryens that are supposed to be the blonde dragon riders. Oh, all of a sudden there's black people everywhere. Makes no fucking sense. Especially given that in Game of Thrones it was very specifically not the case. It was completely different. It was another uh, group of people in another completely different place. But you know we can't have nice things. So everything has to be woke. Everything has to be fucked up. And that's what they went for. But in spite of that, even when getting into it, it was kind of sort of okay. Now it slowly kept on getting worse. See, it was already like the, the, all of the, the, the strong female characters are there. All of the men are bad, evil, stupid, or just awful people. And the only two or three good men that you have are... Ha are of course black because and it's super interesting there's no conflict there's no explanation there's no um, animosity between people depending on on their obvious differences no it's it's like it's just like walking down the middle of new york and seeing people from all over the world well but in west Tross or whatever shit this is it is so stupid but even when you just say okay let's just pretend that's the case all right it is still simply unbearable. Um, still watched it at season one and watching season two up until this point. This is by far the most woke it ever got. This has to be, this has to be the most woke episode of of anything that I've seen. Really, maybe some of, the, of those things that no one even watches, but um, uh, uh, like a like a main um, TV series, like something that was fairly broad in terms of, of popularity, like you say House of Dragon, and yeah, it's not Game of Thrones, but yeah, it's that spin-off, right? Well, I've never seen something make such a huge turn uh, to the worse. You have the, the Queen Rhaenyra, who she, she just wants to go and fight, you know, because she's a super, this guy is likable, the D Damon, Damon is okay, Damon is fun, so whenever Damon is around, and now he's having like, you know, nightmares, and he's already, he's already being, it's so interesting to notice how you can tell that there's a bunch of writers here involved, so you have someone that, oh, but D Damon has to be the cool warrior guy, that's, uh, you know, it's uh, the, the manly dude, right, and then he's being bitch slapped by uh, a random witch, because he's, yeah, <laughs> and then we have the, the queen that she just picks up a sword and says, I should be fighting, who the fuck are you going to fight? You're a tiny little lady. You're not going to fight anyone, you crazy lunatic. We had the previous episode in which an old woman, uh, 80, 70-year-old woman driving, a, riding a dragon. Okay, maybe if you're riding a dragon and the dragon does the fighting, let's just assume that... I mean, we're talking about a series where there's dragons, right? So why could... But the thing is... We know what a dragon is, we know, there you go, she picks up the sword, we know what a dragon is, we know what a lone lady is, you can lie about what dragons can do, can they fly, let's abandon physics, how they would actually fly being that big, oh, well, but they have huge wings, Look, okay, that seems reasonable, it's, it's, a, it's a matter of proportion, no giant ass wings should fly, okay, fires, you know, spits fire, alright, it's a dragon, So, but we know what an old woman is, you can't bullshit me into believing that an old woman is anything but. You can't bullshit me into thinking that this tiny little lady is going to pick up a sword and fight anyone. I'm trying to find specifically because I can't actually play this thing. But when she picks up a sword, right, she goes, ah, I should be out there fighting. And you men don't let me fight because patriarchy. Literally, that's the kind of thing they said several times already, especially in this season that got, this season got like, ah, we, we have to tighten those woke screws. And I mean, as of the rest, it's kind of bearable, but just so there you have the, the, the black maester, the black good guy, because, uh, but still very, very you know, very uh, accommodating to any woman that bosses them around because, and there, there she is, there she is with his sword. 
She's there with a sword. She just picks it up and she, because she just has to go there and fight. And, and the other woman shows up and says, it suits you. Yes, you belong in the battlefield. There's his son, this guy. Look how he look how he, they literally make him bend his knees. He's this actor. Look at the size. This actor is bending his knees just so as to make this woman look taller. That's how fucking crazy people are these days. You can't have someone beyond oh, bigger. I mean, like how could? No, there's no way. Yeah, yeah, it, it is. It is pretty ho horrible what has happened with this show. Uh, and and then as if all of this was, and you were like, oh shit, you're doing it right. You're you're going full girl boss on all of us, and all of the women are the strongest. And it's two queens fighting one another because of men that basically forced them into that position. Um, if it were for, for them, they would just get along fine. But men, you know how men are. Fucking men. And and then final scene there. Where is it? Yeah. So, yeah, they, they, they just have to. And the final scene is the, these two. <laughs> and all of, a, all of a sudden, they like the, this woman here, she says, yeah, I was arped by my father. And then she goes and hugs her because she says, yeah, my, my father arped me. And now I can't have kids. And she kind of like gets sentimental. And Queen Rhaenyra goes and hugs her. And then, of course, they start making out. Now, kind of based of uh, House of Dragons, by the way. Just uh, implying there very directly that she is a lesbian because she was uh, art by, by her father, right? So implying that's not a uh, um, romantic inclination, naturally so. But the uh, product of horrible life experiences that's what makes you uh, yeah very based very based but anyway this full-grown woman that has several kids and has had several relationships with men all of a sudden she's a lesbian now she's they, they, start, they start kissing making out and yeah she she's now a lesbian there you go yeah isn't that beautiful yeah so strong so empowering everyone is a lesbian everyone is okay yeah that's that's how it is guys everything is like this as you see it we can't have nice things anymore you can't have you have to go back watch old stuff you have to go back any movies like in, in 80s 90s early 2000s and kind of there but then, no, everything is race swaps, gender swaps, men are evil, men are bad, there's no strong, smart men anymore, everyone is stupid, uh, but yeah, there you go, girls, go at it, stay strong and empowered, see you later, guys, take care.